Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of applications of integrals. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us to find the area of the region which is enclosed by the curves given. First is y less than equal to 4x squared. The second equation given to us is x squared less than equal to 9y. And the third equation given to us is y less than equal. So we need to find the area of the region which is enclosed between these three curves. And we have been given three, four options as the answers for the area. The first being 40 by 3. We have 56 by 3. The third option 112 by 3. And the last option given to us is 80 by 3. So we need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct answer for the question given to us. Let's figure out this areas first. So if I try to find y less than equal to 4. So if I remove the inequality for this equation and put it equal, I get this is an equation of line. So I'll have the equation of line first. Let's try to draw the regions also. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. And if I try to draw a line which is parallel to x-axis, which is y equal to 4. So that's a 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 4. This is your line which is parallel to x-axis. So this becomes y equal to 4. Now when we have been told to plot the region where y is less than equal to 4, means I understand the entire area lies below this line. Let's also mix the other two regions which are there. One is y less than equal to 4x squared. And the other given to us is x squared less than equal to 4. So if I try to find this regions, I have been given y less than equal to 4x squared. If I remove that inequality and put it equal, Comparing this with y equal to ax square plus bx plus c, I get a is equal to 4, c is equal to 0. So I understand that my parabola intersects y axis at the origin since your y intercept is 0. And because a is 4, I understand a is a positive value, so you get a u shaped parabola like. So this becomes your y equal to 4x square. Also, let's find this intersection point of the parabola with this line y equal to 4. So if I put in this equation of parabola y as equal to 4, I get 4 is equal to 4x square. So x square becomes equal to 1. That gives me x is plus 1 or minus 1. So I get two coordinates where your parabola intersects. So if I draw the parabola first, I have this parabola. Basically, this is your intersection point with the origin. Here you get at y equal to 4, x is plus 1 or minus 1. So I get point of intersection of this becomes 1 comma 4. And this becomes minus 1. So I get this point is 1. And this is your point on the x-axis minus 1. So you get this point of intersection of the parabola with this line. Now we have been told that this parabola which is present. So you will have this entire parabola. We have been told that y is less than or equal to 4. So y is lesser means you get the parabola or you get the region below this parabola. So the common region till now if I see. That is this entire region and this entire region. Below also it goes in the third and fourth quadrant. Now let's also plot the third parabola. So we get a common region which is enclosed between the three curves. So if I see x squared is given less than 9y. If I remove the inequality again, I get x squared is equal to 9y. So y becomes x squared by 9. Again, if this parabola I equated with my general form, I get A is 1 by 9 and C is 0. So again, I get the same understanding that your parabola intersects 
y axis at origin so 0 comma 0 and further 1 by 9 that's a positive value so i get my parabola is basically u shape so you get this understanding now let's again find the same thing the intersection of this parabola with the line y equal to 4. so if i put y equal to 4 in this equation of line so if i put it here let's say so you get 4 is x square by 9 so x square becomes 36 and x with that becomes plus or minus 6. so i get two points of intersection one is 6 comma 4 the other is minus 6 comma so I have this points of intersection with me. Now if I try to draw the parabola here again, let's say 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, let's say 6 comma 2 is somewhere here. And again 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, let's say minus 6 comma 4 is somewhere. So if I try to draw the parabola again, this and this and like So basically, if I see again, you have your parabola intersection at 0, 0, that is origin because your y intercept is 0. And if you see, you have been given that y in this case is greater than x square by 9. So when it is greater, your region becomes above this parabola. And if I see the common region which is present here, is this part and this part. So you have to find the area of this entire region that is enclosed between the two curves or the three curves. We need to find the area of these two regions. Now when I see these two regions, I understand the region on the left is exactly same as the region on the right. So I can just find the area of required region is nothing but double of this area. So let's plot that. So area of the required region. It is nothing but double of the region which was present on the right hand side. So if I just draw the right hand side region, you had this was y equal to 4 x square. This was y equal to x square by 9. And you had the line y equal to 2. So basically you need to find the area of this much part of the region and double it to get the actual area of the region. That is this 2. Let's try to find the area of this region which is present between the two. So if I try to find the area of the region, what I can do here is from y equal to 0 to y equal to 4, I'm taking a horizontal strip. And as I take the horizontal strip, what I understand is I can write that in the form of integral y1 to y2 and function of y so we are writing it in terms of dy because you are taking a horizontal strip and your curve basically goes from y equal to 4x square to y equal to x square by 9. So if I try to convert my values in terms of x because I need it in terms of function of y, it becomes area of the required region. It's double of y1 to y2 where your y goes from 0 to 4 and if I see the region that you have here you have if I talk it in terms of y you have x square as 9y or if I take the square root I get x as square root of 9 3 and square root of y so you get x as 3 root y here if I try to solve this I get x square as y by 4 so x basically becomes root y y so i have x as 3 root y that's your bigger function minus you have your y by root 2 or sorry root y by 2 dy if i try to just solve this integral i get the area of the required region so let's solve this i get 0 to 4 root y common you have 3 minus half dy if i try to solve this further you get the limits from 0 to 4 3 minus half, that is 6 minus 1, 5 by 2, and root y. So you get this 2, 5 by 2, limit from 0 to 4, root y, d by. Root y, I can just write that as y raised to half. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled, you get your area 
as five times y raised to half, you get y raised to three by two upon three by two, the limits from zero. So you get this as five into two by three, four raised to three by two minus zero raised to three. So you get 10 by three, four raised to three by two is nothing but square root of four. So two and cube of two is eight minus zero is eight, zero only. So you get 8 into 10, 80 by 3 square. So you get area of the required on this region. So ask to us that is enclosed between three columns is 80 by 3. And if you see the option that matches here with the question, it is option D. So D is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question which deals with the idea of finding the area of the region which is enclosed between the curves that are given to us. So we plotted all the three curves. We got the common region which is enclosed. And if I see that common region which is enclosed, it is nothing but the symmetrical region on the either side. So I just found out two times of the region on the right hand side. So I just needed to take a horizontal strip then. Then give me the idea that the limits are from y1, y2, that is y equal to 0 to 4. And it is in terms of function of y dy. So if I converted both the curves in function of y, I got 3 root y and y by root, root y by 2. If I solve that further, I got my area of the region as 80 by 3 and that matches with option D. So D is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question which deals with the ideas of finding the area of the region. I will see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on 11, 12, as well as so stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Do share this videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JWT. Thank you.